Hi guys, it's me Dimension Bows, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys every single card that I own so far for set one of Dimension Battles. So, this is going to be a pretty long video. I'm not going to be talking about the power and defense. I'm just strictly going to be saying the name and what type it is. So to start it off, we have Jet Plane, which is a which is a water type, and yeah. Next we have Beast Tamer, Earth type. Shield, which is an item card. Ghost Strix, which is a dark type. Warrior of Light, which is a light type, hence its name. Token, which is a card that I don't think you've seen yet. Gain one token. I'm only going to be saying the names and stats of the new cards. Imprisonment, you've seen that already. Swap, you haven't seen this one. It swaps the power and defense of a card until the end of the turn. Earth General. Fishbowl, Flame, Nature, Angel's Gift, which is a kind of more cartoony artwork, but I still like it. Warrior's Gift, many gift cards, you draw a card, very basic. And it also, the artwork on that guy is pretty cool, it's like a person just drawing a card, it's supposed to represent like a player or something, and yeah, Aura Mage, which is a card, a light type. I don't think you've seen this card yet. Its effect is, when it's summoned, you can gain 2 health. That's 200 power and 300 defense. Maybe you saw it, but it's a rare state to do. I don't remember for sure. Earthblade. Shadow Striker. Plant Infested Monster, which is a card that I really love the artwork on. It's like a little guy there, and then it has all the plants coming out of it. I'm going to make another card kind of like that. Just stay tuned for that. It's pretty cool. Shadow Beam, Inferno Dragon, which is one of the originals, Venus Flytrap, Flame, wait, let me move this stack back a little bit, actually, it's getting pretty big, Flame, Young Swordsman, which is like the Scribbles of the Rachel archetype, like art type, oops, I actually hit the lamp, sorry about that, let me just reposition it. Diamond Ring, which is a card you have not seen yet. It's pretty complicated. I'll close up the effect right there. Its effect is, this it's a stage 2 card. It's an ultra rare, really hard to get. This turn, you can summon one creature during your summon phase, and it can be a higher stage than the current stage. And you can equip this card to that creature. So basically, what that means is you have a stage 1 card, a stage 4 card. You can play it even if it's stage 1, which is extremely useful. That's why it's an ultra rare. And it should be very hard to get. The artwork looks kind of lame, but it's a good card. Next up, we have Pirate Ship. Power Drain. This card, which I have not named yet, but I'm either thinking of Emerald Dragon or maybe... Um, are there a few other names that I got suggested? Ivy Dragon and stuff like that, or Gaia Dragon. I can't decide for sure. All those names sound really awesome. I may not use Gaia Dragon, sorry about that, because basically with Gaia Dragon, it kind of sounds like a, I think Gaia's some um, goddess, which, I, this is a boy, so I don't want to do that. But, by the time you're seeing this, I haven't uploaded the video, I will have, by the time you're watching this video, I will have already uploaded a video where I show what, what, what the name is for this card, so, this card's probably already named, but I haven't uploaded it yet, so yeah. I mean, this card is already, oh, I said that weird, this card is already named, but I am going to upload that video later and record it later, so, yeah. There we go, just a quick little jump cut right there, I had to drink some water. We have Earth Commander, Aqua Soldier, Laser, Dragon Tamer, Earth Hammer, Razorfish, which is actually, I've created a mat, which I haven't shown you guys yet, but it's a mat, and has Razorfish on it, which I think is pretty cool. And the rest, Shadow Driller, but it also has the rest, of, you know, Inferno Dragon, it has the rest of his body, so it shows actually what he looks like, which will be pretty cool, you guys can look at that, it'll be another video. Shadow Driller. Forest Archer. Power, Dark Power, sorry, Dark Power. 
Thunder Punisher, Aqua Tank, Bright Rain Dragon, which is a card that I made in most of my card games that I made before, but I've only shown you guys this card game, the Ultra Explosion, which destroys all creatures on your planet, Shadow Slicer, Lightning Conjurer. I need to rest my voice for a second, but I'm going to quickly tell you something. If you want to pause the video at any point, you should, so if you want to read the effects and stuff. I'm going to keep on going. Unexpected Power. Aqua Puncher. Another Flame. I know I named so many cards Flame because I've run out of, I don't know, but basically what happened, the one card I accidentally named two cards Flame, and I noticed you just saw this card, but that was as a Fire type. This is the original art, so I originally created this card, but I accidentally made it a light type, so I had to remake it, but as a fire type. Next I have Glorb, it's like a glowing orb. Even though it's not an orb, <laughs> makes no sense. He has like very, not at all round parts, very straight. Aquamage. Let me push that into the sleeve more, actually. Aquamage. Okay, the stack is getting really huge. Earth Soldier. Power Up. Shadow Soldier, Robotic Punisher, which is a card that I think I've shown. Yeah, it's a um, metal type. I don't own. I only own two metal types, that's why I haven't done a type profile on that yet. I probably won't because, well, you know, I don't own that many. Feather Duster, which is actually my favorite card in the whole entire game. I know it's weird, but I really like it. I mean, I love the artwork. Kind of cartoony and different. Hero Protector, Earth Kid. And the last card is Fire Summoner, which is a card that I really like, so suiting that it's last. And yeah, so those are all the cards that I own so far. And what I'm probably going to do now is show a speed video of me like, laying down every single one, so yeah. There we go, so you can see most of the cards I own. I unfortunately couldn't fit all of them, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe because it was tiring to record. Bye guys.